Thank you. Please take your seats. So, Gabriella, how are you today? Uh, I'm doing really, really good. I feel very re relaxed and, and ready for uh, rehearsals and uh, make things going right. Please introduce your colleagues, or you can introduce yourself. If you oh, like. these guys, my favorite, they're composers. Um, Christian Schneider, Sarah Bilgert. Yeah, how is, how is it pronounced? Bill, oh, that's <laughs> Bill <Glenn. laughs> Yeah, that's very <laughs> Swedish. <laughs> and uh, this is a head of our delegation, uh, Hansa Jan Bors. And they're coming with me. Nice to meet you. So your song, I Stand, that's the name of the song, uh, you all know that by now, uh, you display an amazing range of, of in, in your vocal capacity. How did you learn to sing like this? <laughs> I was studying a lot. Um, I sing uh, basically since my 13, now I'm 22. Uh, so I had first been when I was 13 playing clubs and really small kind of, yeah, really clubs just for a really bunch of people. And um, a couple of years ago, I just took responsibility a little bit more for my vocal cords and I started to, to study singing. So thank you very much. I'm really glad you like it. That's wonderful. And you toured, you toured with the Trans-Siberian Orchestra in the United States, 120 concerts. Uh, how do you bring, what do you bring from that experience onto this, this well, contest? Well, I think it's the beautiful experience about this is that, um, especially arena like that, it's like to being home, you know? Like I don't feel, I don't feel like pressure. I feel like, yes, yes, I, I know, I know the space. I love the space and I love to like, do my best to just create the the impact, the effect, you know, of people to make them feel good with with my singing, with the music, you know, just something that they really like. So, uh, from that experience, is arena is my home. Mm, that sounds very comfy. You, so no frazzled nerves to take care of when you start out. One more time, please. No frazzled nerves to take out, take care oh, of. Oh, there's always day. like, of course, yeah. I'm normally uh, right before the show. Yes, nervosity and just so many attention on the things that it's, everything's going to be like going to work right. But right now we got plenty of time, so I'm just trying to really like keep it easy. If there's any problem or, or or things that we want to fix, just no really pressure. Just keep it very calm and just communication. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to to keep everybody's relaxed. Great. About the Czech Republic and, and your participation in the Eurovision Song Contest, you've only participated four times so far, and 2015 in Vienna, you ended up in the best placement ever as number 13. So what is your hope for this year? We got a target, of course, because we've never been qualified to final. So that's, of course, like the target that's very challenging for us to make it happened this year and we of course going to do our best to at least you know hit the final that would be amazing let's open up for some questions go ahead gentleman in the blue shirt thank you uh, my name is Michal Smrek from Slovakia Hospodarska Novini so uh, as you said correctly the Czech Republic doesn't really have a good track record of qualifying to the final. What do you think, in your view, gives you this competitive edge over names like Kabat or Marta Yandova to make it to the final this year? Um, it's, it's really, in, yeah, it's, it's interesting to think about it. I remember I was watching Eurovision Song Contest when I was younger, little, and there was Kabat, actually. That's the group that was the first time as, as a representative of Czech Republic. And the thing is, um, Czech Republic, we get very specific music. I mean, that, that people in Czech Republic, they like. And uh, sometimes it's just, it's very like intimate thing that they really like melodies, riffs or something. And sometimes it doesn't mean that it's for everybody, you know, for all countries. and. 
Eurovision Song Contest is basically about, it's a song contest, so that means to basically create a song that's going to communicate the largest amount of people, to really make the song that so many people all around this planet Earth is going to like the song, so they're going to vote for it. So I think when we were making uh, the song this year, we were thinking about it. We were like, okay, so what is, I'm a, I'm, I was a rock singer and I am a rock singer, but to me it's like, I love rock music. I also like, like movie soundtracks and, and, and film music and classical music. And to me, to make for Eurovision Song Contest song like that, that's going to be more easy for people to, to really hear the song and love the song, I made this for, for that reason. So I think that's the biggest difference. Thank you. Another question, gentleman here in the middle. Hi Gabby, my name's Danny, I'm from Hi. the AC Bubble. Um, first of all, congratulations for an amazing performance this morning, it was fantastic. My question is around um, your staging and also your preview video, which is very interesting with lots of geometric shapes and it's, it's very unique. Um, can you tell us how you came up with that um, idea for the show? Uh, that was like one of the first art discussions where, where in the last years we were like Czech Republic were very focused on sing the song very well, so it's going to be great quality, you know. But when we were discussing it and trying to like learn from from mistakes from the the past years and trying to learn like, okay, what they didn't like, why didn't they, they why did they they didn't vote for us? And the thing was the graphics, just basically, yes, yeah, lighting, staging, and everything like that. We're like, okay, we want to do it more interesting for people, we want to people really like it and, and make it interesting for them. And uh, I, when, I when, when we were doing the song, uh, I wanted to make it really beautiful. So for me, even the lighting, I was going to keep it very warm, very beautiful, very like something that you really can appreciate. It's, it's because I love art, and, but beautiful art. Not really like, kind of sometimes you see art, but it's a little bit ugly. Like kind of way when you're like, oh, that's like, uh, yeah. So the, those graphics, I wanted them to to keep the audience warm. And and we were discussing with this with this with director and and my team and Czech team. And in the end, you see what you see. The colors are very very important as the shapes of this gra graphics. Thank Sounds you. like you've done a really thorough analysis of, of your entire performance. Uh, well, I, uh, I love to be very involved in everything that we're doing. Sometimes it's hard for my team when they're just like, Gabby, <laughs> you just, I'm like, I want to make this work. <laughs> I just want this emotion, this feeling, I just, it's because of the best result. So I'm trying to be very involved in anything that we're doing. I just don't want to sing the song. I want to really perform it and I want to be in everything involved. Great. More questions over here, please. Hi, Alistair Birch from SBS Radio Hello. in Australia. Can you tell us a little about the influence of Ken Tamplin on your music and how did you overcome the distance? Oh, yes. Ken Tamplin, he's a vocal teacher. Uh, he's from California. Uh, his academy is, is uh, called Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy. He's a rock singer, but um, he's amazing, tremendous teacher. And his technique is very unique. And I remember when I was, it was 2011, and I become a professional singer in my country because I was in the uh, Czech and Slovak Idol and I was second. And uh, I remember I saw I saw his videos and I was just very, was, I was like in shock, I was just like, wow, like who is this guy? He's, he's, he sings like, he sings like Iron Maiden, Run to the Hills, do you know the song? <laughs> it's just like, wow, I want to sing like that. And I thought, well, if I would have ever have a teacher like that, I would have my range and my, my 
technique, it would just work. I would, I would be losing my voice. And that time I had a problems with that. I, was, I would sing for an hour and I would lose my voice. This is something that's not happening anymore because I'm, I'm, I'm trained. And uh, for rock singers especially, it's very easy, very easy to lose the voice when you scream and you, you use so much of distortion. So the basically in short was I, I wait like three years since that moment. And never, never get in calm with him because I was afraid I didn't speak English at all at the time. And uh, I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many singers like me probably in America. And I was a little bit like invalidate myself. And in three years, I was, I hit a spot in my life, just a moment in my life. And I was just like, there's nothing I can lose to just send him my demos and just ask for advice. Just if I want to go to California, if I want to like sing in America, I just need to do something for that. So I did. And he, he responded in like a day and just he was amazed by my talent and was just like, hey girl, I want to help you. I want to like, I want you to really start singing and use this technique and then you can come to California. We can create some demos and to basically show how the technique works, your amazing change since like, it was like three weeks within th three weeks. And on those demos and presentation that we created, then basically TSO, they founded trans Siberian Orchestra and get in calm with me to go on a tour with them. So it was just very short. Yeah, now we're really great friends and he's amazing. Amazing, supportive and excited about Eurovision Song Contest. So you will indeed be following this contest. Oh, yes. And it's now being broadcasted in the United States. Yeah, sorry? It's now being broadcasted in the United States, the contest. Uh, that was the big news yesterday. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well. So he can watch it live. Yeah, yes. If great. He has that's the right perfect. Channel. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's great. Yes, I will totally tell him. Terrific. Gentlemen, this in the check shirt, please. Thank you. Hello, Gabriela. My name is Fernando Mendes. I'm with Radio International. Congratulations. That was a nice performance at this first rehearsal. And uh, well, as we know, you've been working in the U.S. with trans Siberian Orchestra. Uh, now you come back to work in Europe at this very big European event. Um, my question is, do you perceive a big difference on the way you're working in the music industry in the U.S. with respect to Europe or basically the same? How do you perceive the contrast between those two ways of working or even mentalities? Thank you. Yeah, that's interesting. I. Oh, it's really, it's really hard to say. It's my experience from Europe and the United States is very, very similar. I got really good experience with great professional uh, performing and, and, and working with people in Europe and also in the United States. Uh, trans Siberian Orchestra is it's really like it's class A group band, so it's really huge. It's like First time when I was on the tour, I was just like, wow, like I, I just dreamed about this since I was a child. And it was it was amazing experience. But really, right now and right here, for example, to see what's going on here, it's, it's amazing. It's really, it's large, even larger. And uh, I love it. I really, I love both. I love to be in the United States but I also love to be here in Europe because I, I love Europe in the same way. And the mentality, the mentality, mm, sometimes maybe like the emotion level, like I perceive that people sometimes in America, they're just, they're just, um, it's, it's easy to cooperate with them in the way of, of um, mm, just support and, but it's not like, the big difference, not at all. Thank you. We have time Thank for you. one more question. Good. Everybody's happy? No, there's one, always oh, one yeah. more. This gentleman is very well prepared. Uh, you attempted to sing 65 songs in four minutes. Can you tell us about that project, a little bit about it, and how successful was it? Oh wow! Yes, uh, it was very, it was very um, interesting idea that we we had. Um, we just wanted to show in four minutes. We wanted to create a viral video that's going to be become popular in the United States and also here. 
and uh, Anthony, the creator of the video, he's very popular in the United States and he's got millions, millions of views on YouTube and we're very, very, we know each other because we're both students of Ken and we are all rockers, like love even like rock and metal music and uh, we were trying to do something, something special and uh, so the video went well, it's like 65 songs uh, in four minutes and it shows the rock history since basically 50s to, to now and right now on Facebook we're hitting like 7 million I think and on YouTube like almost a million so yeah, it's, it's, it, went, it goes very well, I'm happy. F fantastic. Before we finish off, I'd like to ask you, as I ask all the other artists, the theme, Come Together, this year's theme, what does it mean to you? What does that mean to me? Uh, well, I, I love to have a, uh, have a great support around me because even though it is like about me, there's so many people who's behind that, like the work and, and what they're doing. Everybody there has have their jobs and they have their responsibility. And to me, the most important thing is to feel that they support me, they're, they're stand by me and I can rely on them if there's like any problem that I need to solve or I need to figure it out. And, and I love to create together. If we have any like idea that we wanna, we wanna like really make it, make it in reality, I love to have people around and discuss it and, and just just make it work. And that's something that I can do on my own. So in the end, what I perform is there are so many people who's taking care of that and who's responsible for that. And it's something that they've done with me. So that's come together as a team. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.